Hey guys, welcome to DIY Crafts. In this video, I am going to show you how to crochet this puff V-stitch beanie. So let's get started. For this, I am using this 6 ply yarn and a crochet hook of size 3.5 mm. Now let's begin with a slip knot. Now make chain 7. That's 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now skip the first stitch from the hook and from the second stitch make one single stitch in each and every stitch. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and finally the 6th one. This completes the first row of the circumference of our beanie. Now chain 1, turn your work. And now insert the hook into the back loop of the stitches and make one single crochet stitch in each and every stitch throughout the row. Now in the second row also we will have 6 single crochet stitches. Don't forget to make the last single stitch over the chain 1 in the first row. So this completes the second row. Again chain 1, turn your work. Skip the first stitch and from the next stitch make 6 single crochet stitches into the back loops again that's the first one two three four five and the sixth one likewise continue to work until you reach the required circumference of your beanie so here i am working in 66th row and now after completing this row let me check the measurement of our beanie And this measures approximately up to 14.5 inches as it is stretchable it fits up to a head of 15 inches circumference so it meets my requirement now let's close this part by making a slip stitch around the first and the last rows just insert the hook through both the stitches and then make a slip stitch throughout the row just a slip stitch in each and every stitch in the meanwhile if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and click on the bell icon to get the notifications for my latest videos make sure you follow me on other social media platforms and the links are given in the description below do check it out now the base of our beanie is ready now let's start working on the height of our beanie using a puff stitch for this we are going to add one row of single crochet stitches so begin with chain one and make one single crochet stitch at each and every stitch i mean each and every row across the circumference just identify the row and make one single crochet stitch and continue to work in throughout the row until you reach the starting point of the base now after reaching the first starting place we are going to have total of 66 single crochet stitches and now above this row we are going to start working our puff stitch begin with chain 1 and do not count this chain 1 as a stitch yarn over and drop a loop hold it now skip the first stitch and in the next stitch insert and drop another loop so we will have 5 loops on the hook now yarn over and draw through all the loops on the hook and this forms a puff V stitch this is a puff stitch with V shape now chain 2 and now in the second leg of the puff stitch drop the loop to have the first leg of the puff stitch again yarn over skip the next stitch and drop a loop from the next stitch so we will have five loops yarn over and draw through all the loops and then chain two and now this forms the second v puff stitch again yarn over and drop a loop through the same stitch and drop the next loop over the next stitch and continue this pattern throughout the row until you reach the starting point 
here I have one extra stitch but that's fine just make a slip stitch onto the first stitch after making the last chain 2 insert the hook onto the top of the first puff stitch and then make a slip stitch and this completes your first row now make a slip stitch into the next chain 2 space chain 1 and let's start making the second row now we are going to make a V puff stitch across these chain 2 spaces so half puff into the first chain 2 space and another puff into the next chain 2 space draw through all the 5 loops and then just chain 1 and now continue to make puff stitches in each of the chain 2 spaces as shown in the video and separated by chain 1 gap in row 1 we will have chain 2 space whereas in row 2 till the end of the beanie we will have only one chain 1 space just continue to make v puff stitches throughout the row until you reach the starting point here I have added the second leg of puff stitch into the first chain 2 space now after completing the last chain 1 make a slip stitch into the first stitch and this completes your second row and here is how it looks like now you can continue with the same color if needed if not you can change the color here I'm showing you the technique of changing the color while making a slip stitch into the next chain 2 space change your thread color as shown and then chain 1 Insert your tail ends while working, hold them across the chain 2 space, yarn over and drop a loop from first gap and drop another loop from second gap and then make a puff stitch with a chain 1 space. Again another puff across the next 2 stitches. Now continue to repeat the pattern of row 2 until you reach the height of a beanie 1 inch less than the required height. This is how the beanie looks like with the V stitch above another V stitch. Now I am working the last puff V stitch in my 10th row. And now after completing the puff stitch make a slip stitch onto the top of the first puff stitch. And this is how the beanie looks like with puff V stitches with alternative color changing. And this measures approximately 6.5 inches. So now I'm going to stop my V stitch pattern here and I'm going to work with the double crochet stitches to give the shape of a beanie. And this rows have to be worked only after reaching the required height of your beanie. And we are going to work for next 3 rows in double crochet stitches. So begin with chain 2 and consider this one as first double crochet stitch in first row and make one double crochet stitch in each chain 2 gap and over a v puff stitch just one double crochet stitch in each and every stitch and each and every chain 2 space work it throughout the row until you reach the starting point and now make a slip stitch onto the first stitch and this forms your first row on the top of a beanie now again chain 2 and start working a decrease of DC throughout the row just DC decreases in each and every stitch throughout the row until you reach the starting point and this helps us to give the shape of a beanie and it makes it easier for us to weave in the opening on the top so this completes the second row of double crochet stitches the first row will have only DCs and the second row is having DC decreases which gives the shape of a beanie and we are going to add one more row of DC decreases as it will elevate the shape of our beanie. Just one DC decrease throughout the row. Continue this pattern until you reach the starting point. I am going to make a last DC decrease. If you have any leftover single stitches, we can make one DC over it and this is not much noticeable. 
Now make a slip stitch onto the first stitch, chain 1 and trim the excess thread by leaving a little long tail end to close this opening. Now this completes the crocheting part of our beanie and now let's close this opening on the top with the help of a yarn needle. And this is how the V stitch puff beanie looks like after adding the top few rows. Now with the help of a yarn needle, weave in and weave out throughout the last row over the double crochet stitches until you reach the starting point. Now pull the end tightly to close the opening and secure the closing by making few knots across the row. Now weave in the end and trim the excess threads. I am making a closing knot at the back side of a beanie just to make it look better. So this completes our puff V stitch beanie and my final measurement of a beanie is 7.5 inches in height and 15 inches in diameter. So this is a perfect fit for any toddler. I hope you all enjoyed watching this tutorial. Do give this pattern a try and let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. See you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, share it and subscribe to DIY Crafts.